Hey, what's going on everyone? Frostbite here. So we're going to try this again a couple of different times. Uh, if you guys can't notice, I'm using shaders. Um, a shaders mod, I guess you could call it. It's not. It's relatively easy to install for 1.8. I'm using just the standard version just for video purposes. Hopefully it'll not look too bad. And Oh, whoops. What am I doing? Um, wrong F key button. But alright, so we're here back in the experiment world. I think I'm going to change it over and title this Lily's World, maybe Lily's Kingdom, just because I like that name. It's my daughter's name and I kind of like pretending that this is her realm and all of that, you know? And she's not even a year old yet. I can't wait till she can play Minecraft. But anyway, let's get into this. As you guys notice, I'm level 31. I slayed out some pigmen. They slayed me and then I got my levels back and then I just bred and killed some cows. Uh, but let's get this pickaxe. All right. Oh man. Okay. So we're not gonna be able to see. Oh well. That shows up. It's a problem with shaders. Sometimes this does that. But what, why won't it let me? Okay, I can. But fortune three. I wonder what else we're gonna get with it. Just fortune three and unbreaking three. So I have a pickaxe that I could probably have join. So yeah. But now we have. I think a little over 20 blocks of diamonds that we're going to lay down. And we're going to see how much a Fortune 3 pickaxe. If you watched my other video, you saw how much a Fortune 2 pickaxe got us with a stack of 64 blocks of coal. We got almost two stacks of 64 coal using that Fortune 2. We're going to do a little bit different here, though. I have all my items all over the place. This anvil right here in the middle. Let's just, I don't know, these cows are annoying. Let's do it where it looks somewhere cool. Hopefully I won't lose these diamonds anywhere. Alright, let's do it right here. Uh, if you're wondering how I got these, I mined them out with uh, Silk Touch. I, I had this in mind because I had a Silk Touch. S silk touch pickaxe so I was like okay well in that case I might as well um, I might as well just wait until I get enough levels get enough uh, well I already had the diamond pickaxe waiting let's just take a screenshot of this um, but yeah get enough levels and get the pickaxe so I could see that too yeah save it up get fortune three and mine this out. Well, I kind of want to mine it from the top, so great. Now I gotta venture all the way because I don't have any blocks on me. I have a shovel? No. Torches be my friend. I like that Shaders does this with the leaves too, it makes them move. It's pretty cool. I mean, just look at the water, look at the clouds. The texture in this, even on just the standard to make your computer run with it a little bit smoother, even, it just looks looks so nice. Alright, let's get into it. Keep track of the XP too. Alright, I just want to make sure that I get every one. See, I didn't want that to happen at all. So we're just going to jump down here. We'll just do it fast. I was watching a video of a YouTuber. I'm sure most of you guys know him. If you guys watch a lot of Minecraft videos, you probably know the story. But he was mining, and I, it's probably happened to you too if you played Minecraft and didn't know. Uh, but he was mining. He saw like six blocks. Uh, long story short, he only got one of the diamonds because there was uh, lava right underneath, and he just mined it out real quick. Oh wow! Almost the whole, 61 diamonds out of like 24 blocks or something of. That's not bad at all. So now we're pretty much set on diamonds. Well, we're not set on diamonds. You can always have, you know, it'd be nice to have like a thousand diamonds, but we're good. Ooh, a stack of 64 diamonds. I got enough tools. I can just take my Fortune 3 pickaxe along with me now. So whenever I find diamonds, look at that stack of gold nuggets from killing those uh, zombie pigman. Let me show you guys my little mining spot. I put a door here just so. There wouldn't be any creepers, hopefully not like walking up here. I don't know why it's always 
glitches out like that. Um, I'm intend on having a rail cart system coming through here soon, hopefully. I, I kind of just need to find more iron and more gold so I can uh, have enough for powered rails and whatnot. Actually, I probably have enough now. It's glowstone. As you, as you can see, shaders pack makes it look a lot different. See, just watch, watch what it looks like. I mean, you can see, honestly, a lot easier even, but outside it just looks, I don't know, so, so beautiful to me. So beautiful. <clears throat> but yeah, I mined throughout here. This is where I found all those blocks of diamonds, and I found quite a few different cave systems, but I'm trying to keep these, I'm just putting like, I'm trying to keep them straight, so I'm putting up cobblestone, but I make it so I can see through uh, the cobblestone as well. But yeah, I kind of wanted to show you guys that little diamond segment right there. Hope you guys found it entertaining. It shows how good a Fortune 3 really is on any sort. You can even, it doesn't matter. I mean, you could even put it on. Um, does that do anything? No, I don't want to do that. Use the Fortune 2 for like coal and stuff. That way I can save my 3 for diamonds. Diamonds only, man. No. Um. I don't know. I was gonna say something. I should use this with it though. Completely forgot what I was gonna say. I hate it when my mind thinks about so many different things all at once. I need to make a bigger room. I think I'm gonna expand this way, so I can get more chests in there. Cause I already realized that I'm gonna need more chest spots for sure. But I think for the next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to go and try and find a nether fortress because I need to get brewing, get some potions. Go and look at this farm. Yeah, this farm. Let's go back and check out the shade. See, check out the shadow. If I wasn't on standard, this shadow would be more crisp. You see those little triangle things on the head and on the side? Those wouldn't necessarily be there on, like, the ultra version or something like that. I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do a how to install the mod video really soon because it's I'm pretty sure you can do it in like four to three minutes, if that. But uh, well, it's a nice little house. Bum 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 bum. Hmm. Let's go actually into the Nether real quick, just real quick. I want to see if these guys are, and let's check it out with shaders too. Actually, where you guys can get a little bit of a look. I wonder if the zombie pigmen are still like aggressive towards me. I oh, I hear a gas. It's never too good. Let's put one of these here, put one of these here, one of these here, one of those there. Where's this gas at? Is it behind this? Because if he's behind this, I'll take him out real quick. Are these guys going to run after me? Let's see, I'll run up to them. Doesn't look like it. Look at how. Oh! Was that just flame or something? Am I tripping out or was that an actual gas? I swear I saw one. I'm just tripping, I guess. Look at how crazy it looks. It's nuts with shaders. It's so bright it almost hurts my eyes. <clears throat> Glowstone's pretty nuts. Um, different texture packs would make it look even better, but sometimes it seems like the texture packs don't want to work as well. Or it, shaders doesn't want to work as well with other texture packs. I'm using uh, Faithful. I thought he was I thought he was gonna start chasing after me. Cool, so it looks like it's been long enough where I killed enough uh pigman for them not to be aggressive towards me. I'm gonna come back here, mine out, and probably get some levels. We gotta find a nether fortress very soon. I think I'm gonna end the video here, that way it's not too long. I know it wasn't too anything too exciting, just showing me get like almost well over a stack of sixty four diamonds now. With only like twenty four blocks. Um if you look outside, here's the moon. That's what water looks like when it's flowing. It's not reflective like that is. Sometimes I hate that glare. You see that glare with the sword. But then other times it just looks really nice. Like, I don't know. Probably for video purposes, I might not record with shaders if I'm just doing anything off camera. I'll, uh, I'll just uh, have it on. But yeah, guys, as always, it's been Frostbite. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed seeing this awesome Fortune 3 pickaxe. I hope to make it probably efficiency 5 eventually. I got a pretty nice sword too. 
uh, smite four, knockback three, fire aspect two, and looting. And I was a little worried. Uh, just a quick comment. I was a little worried at first that uh, fire aspect would catch the drops on fire, but that's not the case. From what I've seen, I've gotten every drop, even from Enderman, uh, Zombie Pigman as well. I haven't tried blazes or anything like that. Who knows if that? Hopefully, it doesn't affect that at all. Oh, and the thing that's cool about it too, when you kill animals, it automatically cooks the food for you. It's pretty sick. It takes away from experience, I think, but it cooks the food for you. Alright guys, peace out.